Hey everybody, welcome back to Inside Japan. We spent a lot of time enjoying the scenic beauty of Upper Nikko, but today we'll be checking out the temples and shrines of Lower Nikko. These World Heritage Sites are a pleasure to visit any time of year, but they're especially beautiful in the fall through the foliage. The temples and shrines are usually open during the day, but they're holding a special light-up event during November. There are a number of parking options available if you come by car, ranging from $3 to $10, with the $5 option by Renoji being our recommendation. Renoji is open for all to visit with a variety of food stalls and entertainment out front. The illuminated garden ticket costs about $5. The pond reflects the illuminated leaves and is quite a sight to behold. The pond has a small bridge for crossing it and a path circling it. It's surrounded by trees and moss covered rocks. The largest gate and pagoda were lit up at night, but Niku Toshogu wasn't open when we went there. We walked over to the west and found another small market. We even stumbled upon a traditional Japanese wedding ceremony, which was pretty cool. We also bought tickets for the light-up event at the Taiyu Inn Temple, which is the final resting place of Iesu Tokugawa. It is quite similar to the Toshogu Shrine, save that the color themes used are largely red instead of gold. The entrance featured unique illuminated bamboo carvings from Wakayama Farm. The large number of stone lanterns looked nice at night with a small orange light in them. And the red gates with wooden deities were quite impressive as well. The innermost temple was also nice, but please note that there are several long flights of stairs, so be ready for a climb. Next week, Kagon Falls will be lit up for the first time. I'm guessing it'll be quite beautiful. We hope you enjoy our footage, and we think it'll be worth your time if you have the opportunity. You can find links in the description below, and you might enjoy our other videos covering the scenic beauty of Nikko as well. Thanks for watching, and as always, this has been Inside Japan.